I'm back! Welcome back to the channel, Dreamers. Thank you for coming over here. Click it on the video saying hi. Yes, I am back. I'm finally done with a lot of different things. The last time you saw me, I didn't have a beard. Last time you saw me, I had two eyes. So what's been happening with me and why I haven't been going on? So, um, long story short, before we get into the video, uh, I was diagnosed with cancer back, uh, back a few months ago, and I had my eye removed earlier this month. Uh, in order to get rid of that cancer. Um, it wasn't something that I was planning on, of course, you never plan on these things, but I did decide that I needed to focus on my own health uh, rather than restart the channel and get it up and o uh, get it up and over again. And what did I get for my results? Well, uh, as of right now, I have no cancer in my body and on a more Happy note, I actually got straight A's in my college classes this semester. Yes, I'm a 40 year old single parent college, or single parent, <laughs> single parent college student. And I got straight A's, first time I've had a straight A's ever, I'm pretty sure. And I haven't taken a class since, uh, shoot, probably like 2006. So uh, that's been what's going on in my life. I'm planning on doing more and more videos as we go along. Um, whenever news comes out, like today, we had a band announcement that we'll be going over. Um, I'll be making a video. Uh, I want to put out one to two decks a week and open product. Also on the weekends, we will be streaming live at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, Saturday and Sunday, as long as me and my son don't get too busy and that's everything to that extent. So that's what we're going to push going forward. So let's get into the actual video that matters. The band announcement. Good? Bad? Why? <laughs> let's see. Before we get into talking about the new band announcement, the rotations, all that type of stuff, let's, let's give a brief history of the development of standard. And by brief, I mean, literally it is remarkable of what they tried to do but like i said brief very open overly simplified standard was invented in 1995 and they said that the oldest sets would not be part of standard well how do you determine that well magic uh, magic would release a core set uh normally during this sp uh summer and that core set would specify hey the last set uh, the last older sets are going to be going out and it'll be rotation. Uh, unfortunately, that did not work. Like, what, it was kind of hard to tell from what I'm seeing. I did not play during this time, but it looked very, very confusing to me. Um, but, and, but it worked and they had some things that came out. But in 2015, they got rid of core sets. Well, core sets was the start of the rotation. So how are you gonna do that? they started to decide that they're going to be doing blocks. <clears throat> Basically, they would take the two newest blocks and those uh, those sets would be the ones that were legal and standard. Come around to just two years later in uh, 2017, they decided, you know what? Blocks aren't really gonna be working for us because some blocks you know, are only gonna have two, some are gonna have three, some are gonna have four. So instead, what they decided to do was basically during the fall, the last, uh, the four oldest sets would drop out of standard. And we've been running on that system. This is actually right about the same time that I started getting back into magic. So this is the standard that I knew and I grew up with. And I honestly really liked, it was very simple. Yes, rotation's confusing, but trust me, Look, look at the history of the timeline of this standard. It was very easy. You know, you hit the, uh, you hit the falls, the fall set comes out, four sets go away. Very simple, nice and easy. And it continued like that until uh, this coming fall. Instead of having a max of eight sets into standard, they're doing 12. The reason why they're doing this now is because 
people hate rotation to a certain extent. In Paper Magic, you spend you can spend hundreds of dollars to get a standard deck and it rotates out every year. People don't like that. They're moving to Modern, Commander, other formats and Standard has been the number one competitive Magic the Gathering uh, format for Wizards of the Coast and has been like that since 1995. It's their major one. They still want Standard to be the number one uh, played set, the number one championship. And in order to do that, they want to keep people in Standard longer, like making their cards last longer into the format. Now, that brings us up to the band announcement. Anybody who's played Standard, especially on Arena, since Arena came out, Standard basically gets figured out within weeks of a set release. And even rotation, maybe, maybe a month, and then it's figured out. So we, like, Wizards knows this. So their idea for the band announcement was to shake things up, kind of give us a pseudo rotation the way I was looking at it. So that way when, you know, this summer when we're all sick and tired of playing standard, that we'll have something new. And that brings us to the band announcement. So let's take a look at the band announcement. This pseudo rotation to help us through the summer. They plan on doing these bands now once a year with emergency bands as needed, of course. So let's take a look. Oh, it's three cards. Um, hello, wizards? Three, really three? I mean, there was a leaked one that said eight, which, yeah, okay. I, I think that may have been a little extensive, but three. Um. Okay, let's take a look at these three. Uh, Fable the Mirror Breaker. Like, it, it's honestly the best card in standard right now. Understandable that, like, if as long as Fable's in it, if you're not running red, you're missing out on something. It's one of the reasons why the uh, newest championship game, uh, they had nine people who were, who were playing the exact same deck. Um, Invoke Despair, a very, like, honestly, a very, very fair magic card. Five drop, sacrifice a creature, uh, enchantment, a planeswalker. If you don't, you lose two life, they draw a card. Okay, whatever. Ranger of Bike Buster uh, really helps out those uh, control matchups. And when you're, like, just have nothing better to do with your mana, get to draw some cards. Um... <sighs> This isn't good. Um, I don't like this ban announcement. Um, it's going to hurt only one meta deck. Uh, so, I mean, I don't see this helping. This is not, I don't think this is what anybody wanted. And it's only three cards. It's only gonna hurt a few decks, a few archetypes. And don't get me wrong, like, like we, I am tired of playing against Fable. Like, Fable, hurts aggro decks it uh really hurts a lot of other decks like you can play a mid-range deck but have it almost at an aggro level because you can get treasures you can fix your hand it does hurt aggro it does like this is this is a good ban um invoke with despair Okay, you take that out, you're going to be helping out, uh, I really honestly believe control, but if you're playing control and you're not playing counter magic, you're doing something wrong, number one. Um, and everybody knows that it's coming. Like, I don't know, I, I don't really don't see, I can see why they didn't. Um, Ranger Banks Bunkster, I can also see that. Like these cards, like when I made this announcement on my stream over on the weekends, um, I did say that these three cards are most likely going to get banned because you see they're all from an older set. Uh, that's why we expect them to get banned. I was expecting a lot more 
Uh, I was expecting Wandering Emperor. I'm not going to eat those cards. Um, but yeah, we we need more than this. And yeah, I we could sit I could sit here and read it to you, but there's no point. Um, go ahead, read it yourself. You're all very smart people, I'm sure. Read it yourself. They have this entire idea. I I do agree with a lot of their removals. I'm not saying that it's bad. What I'm saying is it's not enough because when you go for basically one deck or one archetype, it doesn't like all it does is make the like two or three others that we're seeing all the time just that much better. Uh, the Legends deck that is out there, it doesn't use any of these cards and it's a powerful deck. Like, it's not like even taking out Invoke Despair, like that's actually going to help it a little bit, but not even that much. But yeah, this just isn't enough. So this isn't a pseudo rotation. This isn't a good enough band announcement. What, what does this look like going forward for standard? So going forward, this summer is going to be outrageously boring for Magic Arena. Um, I have a 10 cap theory. I'm going to be making a video on it. So go ahead, subscribe so that we can get that. A 10 half theory of why this rotation happened and why I don't, I, don't, I just don't know if this is actually going to help standard or anything to that. Um, like basically we're going to be playing the same cards unless and granted we don't know what's coming out with uh i'll drain we do not know what's coming out with that maybe it will give like have some powerful cards that'll give a this meta a good shake up but most of these cards that they banned yes we've been playing against them for two years but there's a lot more that we've been playing against for the last two years that would be very nice to get out but anyway Thank you for watching. Sub so that way you get my tin hat, my tin hat theory on why Wizards of the Coast canceled rotation. Not their, no, 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 we're not going with their fancy. Oh, we want people to stay in more. I think it goes deeper than that, and I'll get into that. So go ahead, hit that uh, subscription. And yeah, um, the band announcement. It sucks. Honestly, it sucks. Well, I hope you guys liked it, and I'll <laughs> see you next time. Hopefully, next time we'll it won't be a pipe dream. Ah, I got you.